Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to show you that how we can use an awesome tool that can be used to bypass 403 forbidden uh, sensitive endpoints, right? But before going into this video, as always, if you want, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can bypass 403, that was the part one, then I recommend you to check that out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Now, if you are new to our channel, then let me tell you about our website which is www.bpractical.net over there we have awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web development and awesome contents and services as you can see right here so we have so many contents related to cyber security and web development and if you hover over to cyber security then you will see that we have articles we have labs and we have one tool which is csr poc generator and we are planning to add more tools later later on also feel free to comment down the tool which you like to see on this website now if we click on the lab section you'll see that all of these labs currently are based on account takeovers and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so you can go ahead and practice your skills over there for free right so go ahead and check it check this website out and finally let's get started for this video now for example, I'm going to open my Kali Linux over here. As you can see, I'm running the local server over there. Let's analyze the application and let's find the sensitive endpoint, right? And then we are going to see that how we can bypass the sensitive uh, 403 directories. So let's see. First of all, over here, let me just see the IP address of my Kali Linux so that I can put it in my browser. So here it is. And let me just copy it and let me paste it and here we are so it is saying that welcome to the web application right over here if i try to uh, go to the developer section which is sensitive right as you can see it is showing that you are not authorized to access this page now if i open my uh, network sources and if i just hit refresh again you will see that it is showing a 403 error right as you can see which means that this uh, endpoint is forbidden right so a normal user a public user is not supposed or authorized to access this particular sense uh, uh, endpoint right <coughs> sorry now then who can access it if we check over here so this ip address is the public ip address assuming this lab scenario so this ip address is a public one right which means anyone if uh, we are from outside the network let, let's say i want to access this application from the internet then i'm going to use this ip address or the domain name unfortunately domain is, name is not here but this ip address to access the application right and if i am the developer right and if i'm working on the server on that server on which this particular application is hosted then i can access the same application by typing localhost right as you can see so a minor difference is that this localhost tells that this application is running on the same machine and this IP address is telling that that it is running on the internet. I hope that you have understood it, right? Therefore, anyone who's trying to visit this sensitive endpoint from the internet is getting you are not authorized to access this page, right? And if I uh, check this out on the localhost, then you're going to see that we got the packets module we got some sensitive information maybe right so these are the files that is used in the development so here's the main difference right this is why 403 uh, are used in the first place so i hope you have understood it you can check it out my previous video to understand it in more detail now let's see how we can bypass it so for us the link will be given like this 172.28.135.177 now what we're gonna doing is we're gonna download an awesome tool that i've just found to bypass 403 so the tool name is 403 this tool so this tool will have a lot of payload that can be used to bypass uh, you know a lot of 403 endpoints even it can test for sql injection and mod security bypasses right as you can see over here now let us see that how we can use this tool for our benefit so i'm just going to copy this and don't worry the link is given in the description so i'm just going to go with the kali linux and you simply need to type git clone and just clone the file now in my case i have already cloned it that's why i'm not going to do it again but you need to clone it after cloning what we need to do 
just type ls and you will be seeing the 403 right as you can see over here 403 just go to 403 and here we are now what we need to do basically is so let's go to the github and let's see what are the functionalities what are the features that are given by the developer to us so we can specify minus u for the url uh, we can pass the bypass modes minus header minus minus protocol minus minus port http method encode sqli right and we can use all of the bypasses by simply typing minus minus exploit right and these are the indication so if we got the output in green which means that okay the status code was 200 which means that maybe that uh, payload uh, was able to bypass the 403 yellow which means that it has redirected us to somewhere red which means that the 403 is still there and blue which means that we got an internal server error right so now that we have understood it and let's try to use this tool for our benefit so i'm just gonna go with <coughs> sorry 403 so the tool name is 403 bypass i'm gonna type bash 403 bypass minus u for the url i'm just gonna copy this url right i'm just gonna paste it and now i'm gonna type minus minus exploit because we know that if we type this as from the documentation from the developer it will completely scan all of the bypasses right I'm just gonna do that and let's hit enter and let's see what happens let us just wait <coughs> so as you can see the process has been completely uh, successful without any errors at all and it was quite fast right let's see what are the uh, payloads on which we got for uh, 200 okay so this was the was first payload right so we got 200 okay for this let's copy this this link and let's paste it over here so over here let me compare it so the developer section is saying you are not authorized to access this web application hit enter as you can see it is showing welcome to the web application right let's see some other other links again this is the link just copy this now it is again showing that welcome to the web application which means this is the false positive right so you have to keep trying until you find the real one right so so now let's see which uh, link will is working right so we can just go ahead and we can just copy this link let's say and let's see whether we are getting the response the perfect response or not in this case what it is doing that it is just getting back to the previous directory let's paste this and let's see what happens nothing happened as well let's test out some others so we have so many links over here you can just copy one of these let's say this one and let's see what happens right as you can see it is showing that can't get to developer which means again it is not working right so let's go ahead and let's try some more <coughs> sorry you can just go and copy one of these let's say this one right just hit enter nothing worked again what about a single direct let's see what happens as you can see boom we successfully get into the developers directory right which means that we were able to bypass the 403 forbidden now what i did here over was that i tried to analyze the application and then using the tool i found the desired outputs the outputs which by uh, by using which we can bypass the 403 now don't rely on the tool as well as i've shown you over here i have tweaked some of the tools right as you can see over here i have tweaked some of the payloads so the payload was which was the payload this was the payload i guess right so instead of a double dot i simply passed a single dot and that allowed me to visit the 403 sensitive endpoint so sometimes you have to do that and in real world scenarios you have to do this a lot of time right so on relying application on re relying on application like this will get you far but if you know the functionality if you do some tweaks by yourself then it makes you stand out from the rest of the crowd and you will be able to get the uh, vulnerability in no time right 
so i hope you have understood it how we can bypass 403 using automation tool and yeah by the way this tool will also work in directly uh, uh, without giving any false positive maybe it depends on application to application right so don't worry about that just use your brain whenever you are using uh, whenever you, are, you have come across this type of uh, scenarios where you need to bypass something where you need to you know find something right in that case ma uh, custom tools didn't work like that right <coughs> sorry so i hope that you have understood that how we can bypass force to see forbidden errors uh, for uh, to access sensitive endpoints by using an automated tool maybe i'll try to create an awesome tool maybe by myself and will let you know guys now if you are uh, if you haven't joined our telegram channel so go ahead and join it out the link is in the description as well as you can see it on the right this screen right so go ahead and join our telegram channel there we uh, we discuss about a lot of things related to cyber security and web development so go ahead and join it out by the way i'm currently learning two courses on udemy so the first one is hacking windows is python where you are going to learn how hackers can hack into windows machine and how they can bypass antiviruses by the practical way so you are going to learn how we can create undetectable payload how we can execute shell commands download and upload files and access web cams how black hat hackers get unauthorized access to the windows machine hack any windows based machine and get full access and how at last we can bind any payload with any files right so go ahead and check this course and the second course which i am running is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers so this course is also created in 2022 where you are going to learn everything about account takeover vulnerability from zero to hero using the practical techniques right so we are going to see the general overview of the account takeover vulnerability we are going to analyze functionality behavior of any application let's say login functionality in depth then we are going to f uh, approach account takeovers in different ways and then we are going to see some real cases of account takeovers on live website so yeah go ahead and check this uh, courses out if you want to right so with that being said if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to comment your doubts or issues in the comment section and thanks for watching